So as far as the sound goes, the difference between the open and closed does make a bit of a difference. For music, these headphones are very light on the bass. A lot of the users on the forums kind of comment that it's completely inexistent. I just find it very light. Uh, it's not the biggest problem in gaming. Uh, the grenades don't have as much boom, so it kind of sounds like a thinner, little more hollow experience compared to the 595s or the Turtle Beach HPXs or the 650s, but the clarity is still there. This ranks above the Astro A40s and the Triton AX720s in clarity. Uh, in music, there is a slight tin to it just because of the closed nature of the headphones. Uh, I do not notice that in gaming though. So, the, these headphone, this headset was meant for gaming and communication. The microphone doesn't attach like the Astros, the Tritons, or the Turtle Beaches. Sennheiser basically made this just for gaming. They don't expect you to use these exclusively for music. So as far as the build quality goes, uh, Sennheiser has always been one of my favorites for the quality of their products. Uh, if you kind of notice throughout the video, it's wobbling a bit. That's because it's a collapsible headset. I don't really find the benefit of that, but it does collapse, so basically you just kind of turn this in towards it, and then this in towards it, and then you have a bit of a smaller profile. Uh, like I said, I don't necessarily see that much benefit in it. Uh, I guess it is kind of nice if you want to travel, you can kind of store it flat. But I would just think that storing it flat like this uh, would just do just as good. Uh, so when you kind of hold it, it seems a little bit more wobbly. Uh, but it does retain the Sennheiser quality. Uh, we were kind of doing a bit of a stress test, not too much of it. Uh, but I can assure you that these will last a lot longer than your Astro A40s. Uh, you can read our review on the Astro A40s and the problems we noticed with the build quality in a different video. So one of the things I also wanted to mention before we kind of wrap this thing up is uh, modifications. A lot of users from HeadFi.org, uh, it's a headphone community, have noted that if they kind of take the headphones apart, uh, they add a little bit more dampening with cotton on the inside under the ear pads, like kind of behind the drivers, and drill a few holes. Uh, they have uh, walkthroughs on their site, but they kind of noted that doing this mod uh, does uh, alleviate from the problems, like the light bass, uh, I think the pressurized sound a little bit, and the bass, the sound, and the, the tin. So, unfortunately we didn't have a chance to do that on this set to comment on it ourselves. Uh, we've got it. We do have to send these back, so we can't, you know, drill any holes in them or set them on fire or do any of the fun stuff that we could normally do to a headset that we own. But uh, it is something that I would encourage you guys to give it a shot. Headfi's users, Headfi users know what they're doing for the most part, and it's definitely worth a shot. Uh, there, there have been many users who have done it, and they've all commented that it does. It is an improvement. So my final thoughts on this is, if you're looking for a closed headset that truly noise cancels, this will get the job done. All of the other headsets that we've uh, used, they don't really provide much noise canceling, even though they are closed back. It's just the ear pads themselves are cloth and they still let sound in. It does block more than like 595s would because those are completely open. But these do get the job done. You they, the quality isn't as good as the 595s. Uh, we ranked the HPX as higher. But for the prices that you can get these for, for a stereo headset, it's kind of a matter of preference. Do you want an open headset? like the HPXs, or do you want a completely closed headset like the PC-350s? And uh, the PC-350s are originally priced at 250 I believe, but you can easily, uh, Best Buy sells them for 200 uh, and if you go to Amazon, you can get them for 130 I've even seen on some websites you could get B stock, so there might be a blemish or two on it, but you can get those for like $80.
So when it's the same price as the HPX, it really is just a matter of preference at that point. Uh, what kind of sound signature you're looking for. These are a little bit lighter in bass, so kind of a they're definitely more for gaming. I mean, the clarity is still there. It's just the bass is a problem, but you can fix that. And So yeah, so if you just have to decide which kind of priorities you want to set for your headphones. So you can decide to go close with the PC350s or open with the HPXs, or you could even take a look at our headphones and do your own little modifications. Uh, I'll make some note. Uh, we made some notes of that. Uh, in our reviews of the headphones. So, Sennheiser PC350, a solid purchase, uh, definitely for gaming. If you already have headphones, then this is definitely a worthy investment just to, just to have for gaming, because the convenience of the microphone is a big selling point to a lot of people. So be sure to check out the full length review at MLGPro.com by myself and, and TD Grenade. Thank you guys uh, for watching.